The telepathy device, a brainchild of Neuralink, represents a monumental stride in the realm of human brain interfaces. This innovative technology is crafted to decode the complex neural activity within the human brain, enabling individuals to interact with computers, smartphones, and a plethora of other digital devices purely through the power of thought. Achieving a milestone that once seemed relegated to the annals of science fiction, Neuralink's device underwent rigorous scrutiny, culminating in the receipt of FDA approval for human trials. This approval not only underscores the device's potential impact on the future of human-computer interaction, but also marks a significant leap forward in the quest to enhance human capabilities and address debilitating neurological disorders. The convergence of advanced neuroscience and cutting-edge technology through telepathy promises to open new vistas in how we connect with the world around us, heralding an era where thoughts alone can control the digital landscape. The first human implant and its implications. In a landmark achievement, Neuralink, spearheaded by visionary Elon Musk, has successfully implanted its first wireless brain chip into a human, marking a pivotal moment in the quest to merge human consciousness with digital technology. This procedure, which Musk himself has undergone, signifies not just a technological triumph, but a beacon of hope for those with severe neurological conditions. The individual with the implant has shown promising recovery displaying the remarkable capability to detect neuron spikes, a critical step towards controlling devices through thought alone. This breakthrough paves the way for a future where paralysis and other mobility impairments could be overcome, allowing affected individuals to communicate and interact with their environment in ways previously deemed the realm of science fiction. The success of this implantation is not just a testament to Neuralink's innovative approach, but also a glimpse into a future where the boundaries between the human brain and machines blur, offering unprecedented possibilities for human enhancement and rehabilitation, aiding paralysis and beyond the broader vision. Neuralink's ambitions extend far beyond the initial marvel of integrating chips within the human brain. At its core, the technology aspires to revolutionize the lives of those with paralysis, spinal cord injuries, and various neurological disorders by enabling a form of communication and interaction previously thought impossible. Imagine the ability to control digital devices, from smartphones to computers, through thought alone. This isn't science fiction, it's the future Neuralink is building. For individuals unable to speak or move, this could mean conversing with loved ones or navigating the internet without physical interaction. Moreover, Neuralink isn't stopping there. They're exploring ways to restore vision by bypassing damaged optical nerves, directly stimulating the visual cortex. Another groundbreaking aspect is telepathic typing, demonstrated by a monkey named Saik, who could spell out words on a screen using his mind. These advancements promise not just improved quality of life, but a redefinition of human potential. The role of animal testing and ethical considerations. Neuralink's journey to connect minds to machines has significantly advanced through animal testing, a step that's as controversial as it is crucial. A notable example, which we just discussed, is SAIC, a monkey that demonstrated the ability to control a computer cursor through thought alone, spelling out words on a screen. This achievement not only showcases the potential of brain-computer interfaces to aid those with severe physical disabilities, but also ignites discussions on animal welfare. Neuralink emphasizes that the welfare of its animal subjects, like Saik, is a priority, ensuring they are treated with care and rewarded, for instance, with banana smoothies during their participation. However, the use of animals in developing medical technologies raises ethical questions. Critics argue about the moral implications of using animals in experiments, while supporters highlight the necessity of animal testing in achieving medical breakthroughs that could revolutionize how we treat neurological conditions and enhance human capabilities. This debate underscores the complex balance between innovation and ethical responsibility. Revolutionizing medical treatments. Neuralink's venture into medical treatments marks a significant leap forward, showcasing its potential to transform the landscape of healthcare. Specifically, its technology is on the cusp of offering groundbreaking treatments for conditions such as depression and epilepsy. 
By leveraging precise brain stimulation, Neuralink aims to target the neurological roots of these ailments, promising a new horizon for patients who have long struggled with conventional treatments. More astonishingly, Neuralink is exploring the realm of reanimating body parts for individuals with spinal cord injuries. This innovative approach involves spinal cord stimulation, where electrodes implanted in the spinal cord could potentially restore movement by directly stimulating motor neurons. Such advancements not only signify hope for restoring physical abilities, but also represent a pioneering step in medical science, merging biology with technology to overcome some of the most challenging barriers in healthcare. The challenges ahead. As Neuralink ventures into the uncharted territory of connecting minds to machines, it faces a constellation of challenges, both technical and ethical. The long-term viability of the brain chips remains a paramount concern. Questions linger about how these devices will perform over years or even decades within the human body and whether they could maintain effectiveness or face degradation. Safety assessments form a critical part of this journey as the technology undergoes rigorous scrutiny to ensure it does not harm those it aims to help. The integration of such sophisticated technology into the human body introduces unprecedented technological hurdles. The precision required in implanting these devices and the body's response over time demands a level of innovation and reliability that is currently at the forefront of biomedical engineering. Ethical concerns also loom large, raising debates about privacy, consent, and the potential for inequality in access to what could be life-altering technology. Addressing these challenges requires a careful, multidisciplinary approach, balancing innovation with responsibility. Comparative analysis with other neurotechnologies. In the realm of neurotechnology, Neuralink's strides are not solitary. They are part of a broader, pioneering wave transforming lives. For instance, breakthroughs elsewhere have empowered paralyzed individuals to walk again, merging human intent with robotic assistance. This remarkable achievement uses sensors to interpret neural signals, translating thoughts into movement, showcasing the tangible impact of neurotech on mobility restoration. Similarly, mind-controlled avatars represent another frontier, where individuals who have lost their ability to speak can communicate through a digital presence, controlled purely by thought. This technology deciphers brain activity to operate avatars, offering a new voice to the voiceless. Neuralink, with its wireless brain chips enabling control over devices by thought, stands shoulder to shoulder with these innovations. It underscores a shared vision in the neurotech field to surmount physical limitations and enhance human capabilities, making what once seemed like science fiction a reality for many. Societal implications and the future. The advent of Neuralink's brain-computer interfaces propels us into uncharted societal and ethical territories. As these technologies become more accessible, they could widen socioeconomic gaps, privileging those who can afford such enhancements with superior cognitive and physical abilities. Imagine a future where job opportunities, education, and even daily interactions are influenced by one's decision or financial ability to integrate with technology. This scenario raises profound philosophical questions about the essence of humanity. Will the enhanced and non-enhanced coexist harmoniously? Or will we witness a new form of segregation? Moreover, as we blur the lines between human and machine, we're compelled to redefine what it means to be human. Is it our biological makeup, our thoughts, or something more intangible. As Neuralink forges ahead, these considerations remind us that while we stand on the brink of revolutionizing medicine and technology, we must navigate the ethical maze that accompanies such advancements. The path forward, regulatory approval and public perception. Achieving FDA approval marks a critical milestone for Neuralink, underscoring the rigorous safety and efficacy standards required for groundbreaking medical devices. This step involves a comprehensive review process where Neuralink must demonstrate that its brain-computer interface is not only innovative, but also safe and beneficial for potential users. The public and scientific community's reaction to Neuralink's trials has been a mix of excitement and skepticism. 
while the possibility of restoring mobility and communication for individuals with severe neurological conditions is met with optimism. There are calls for cautious and thorough examination to avoid potential risks. The scrutiny goes beyond immediate functionality, extending to long-term impacts on health and privacy. This balanced approach ensures that while we advance towards integrating technology with human physiology, we do so with a keen eye on ethical implications and societal welfare.